Caring for patients who have genetic disorders of the heart brings many different issues, many things that need to be addressed in very different ways. I'm a cardiologist, my co-director is primarily a geneticist, but we meet in the middle. We work together to see the children who have either a question of or an established genetic diagnosis as the cause for their heart issues. We see patients both nationally and internationally who come to us with a variety of different clinical and genetic needs and may have had various investigations in the past and therefore may have specific genetic findings that they want us to investigate further or understand better, or specific clinical issues that we need to address in terms of both diagnostics, in terms of management strategies going forward, and then in terms of understanding specific risk. The more time we give, the more discoveries might be made in the interim, mm -hmm. so that when we reanalyze it, mm -hmm. we increase the chances of finding something. So you use the same thing. Because we're a referral center, we do see things that are uncommon, but become familiar with them by seeing them repeatedly over time. And families seem to really value speaking with providers who've seen other children who have the same rare diagnosis that their child has. We have a really great team. We have an administrative team. We have genetic counselors. We have nurse practitioners. We have a psychologist who is able to address many of the psychological issues that come with some of the diagnoses that we make and care for. Being able to have someone sitting next to me in clinic who specializes in congenital heart disease or specializes in aortopathies, and being able to sort of coordinate with them to provide much more holistic care is really key to what we do and we think is a fundamental differentiator for this center compared to other places. When someone comes to Boston to see us, it's very helpful to have already established collaborations with other subspecialists because there are some common people that we need to work with for kids who have heart issues. And when you do that on a regular basis, you establish providers in those other areas who become familiar with the diagnoses that we see a lot and then in the end become experts as well. The world of cardiovascular genetics is really exploding and we have learned a tremendous amount, even in just the past 10 years, about the genetic causes of heart issues in children, but we do have more to go. Go, 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 go. Excellent. We're involved in many different areas of research because really understanding the genetics and the molecular basis of the diseases that we deal with is the key to understanding how we can treat them. We're now starting to look at gene therapy for patients with cardiac disorders. And ultimately now we're sort of beginning to think not how can we treat the symptoms, how can we prevent the risks, but how can we actually cure it? Still an awful lot of work to do, still a way to go, but it's an incredible place to be right now.